the MG Hector. It was launched in India in 2019. In 2021, it got its first facelift. And as we've entered 2023, MG's debut product is all set to get its next facelift. Hi, my name is Devyan Kushagrabansal. You're watching the AutoX channel. And today we have the next gen Hector with us. So today I'm going to quickly tell you just how different it is from the current Hector. What all are the new elements on this car. So let's quickly dive in. But before we start with this video, it will really help our channel if you hit that like button and subscribe to the AutoX channel for all the latest updates from the Indian and global automotive industry. So it's time to begin. Now, talking about the first biggest difference from the current Hector, the next-gen Hector gets this very bold, in-your-face, Argyle-inspired diamond mesh grille. Now, of course, those who have seen the current car know that the current car has a much smaller grille and it has a diamond uh, studded design, whereas this one gets a new diamond mesh design. And of course, these diamond bits are really, really, you know, uh, progressive in design and the grille is so huge. In fact, it now integrates into the center core part of the bumper. And apart from that, at the front, that is the only change because as you can see, the DRLs, the main headlight and even the fog lamps, they remain the same. But another small difference that you might notice is the presence of this ADA sensor over here. We'll get to this in the video a little bit later. And of course, the bumper gets a very cool looking new chrome surround. So from the front, if you thought that the current Hector looks really good, well, the Hector facelift is about to look even better. That's because this grille is not just bold, but you know, it really gives the car a fresh face, but yet the Hector has managed to retain its signature design cues. Now, if the biggest change was at the front, at the side, unfortunately, there are no changes. That's because ranging from the alloy wheels, even their size, 18 inch, to the chrome bit that you see on the doors running through the side and the overall silhouette, that is exactly the same as the current car. So no change over there. Now coming to the back of the car. So this is the second biggest change that you'll notice on the next gen Hector. And also before the viewers get confused, MG is calling it the next gen Hector, but essentially it is only a facelift. So continuing with the rear, at the back, you get this really cool, you know, uh, sort of an Audi inspired uh, strip that joins the uh, LED tail lamps at the back. So it really gives a striking look to the rear. And of course, you'll see the Hector badging on the tailgate. It's all new. It is spaced out. It is big and somewhat reminds us of the badging that we've seen on the Gloucester. If we move down below towards the bumper, again, the bumper gets a new design and you get these four um, inserts in the bumper as well as a four diffuser insert over here and the exhaust gets a simple placement towards the bottom pointing downwards. And at the back, you might have noticed this ADAS badge, which again wasn't a part of the outgoing Hector. So this is again something that we'll get to in the video a little bit later, but this is one of the other biggest changes in the car. So now that you have seen the outside changes at the front, at the back, those are the biggest changes. And as, as I said, uh, the car remains the same from the side profile. So now let's take a look at what all changes have MG given on the inside of the Hector. Now that we're sitting inside the next-gen Hector, it's time to take a look at all the changes that they have made inside the car. And the biggest one that you'll notice is that it gets an all new touch screen. Now in the outgoing car as well, the screen was a vertical screen with a portrait orientation, but that was a 10.4 inch screen. This new unit also that has HD resolution is a 14 inch unit. The diagonal measures 14 inch and MG claims it is one of the biggest screens in the segment. Apart from that, and speaking of the dashboard, even the design has been revised, it has been changed. Now it gets this really uh, premium feeling leather part on the top. And of course the bottom remains in black plastic. The interior color theme, that is the two-tone beige and black, that has again been carried over from the outgoing car. So no changes over there. And of course, if we talk about the steering and the buttons, the switch gear, the Hector facelift does get a few more buttons because there are a few more features. And that is the next thing I'm going to talk about. That is all the new feature additions that the next-gen Hector offers. So let's quickly dive into those. 
Now there are quite a lot of new features that MG has added in the next gen Hector but I'm going to strictly focus on the ones that are the biggest additions the most important ones and of course the first one in this list is the presence of ADAS yes the Hector now gets level 2 ADAS that has up to 11 feature offerings which also includes something very interesting called a traffic jam assist now I know those who understand ADAS will know that level 2 means that it can alter the car's uh, controls on their own and that is exactly what the traffic jam assist also does. For example, if I have to explain the feature, if the Hector is being driven in traffic and you're in a single lane, you can activate the traffic jam assist and the car will do everything on its own that includes braking, stopping and again accelerating and maintaining the distance from the car ahead of it that is the target vehicle but of course the car won't be able to change the lanes so that is only applicable if the car is being driven straight in a single lane now apart from ADAS there's also the addition of this ambient lighting that you see in the Hector's dashboard this strip running over here and what MG has done has given it voice operated functionality so from switching it on or off to changing the colors there are about eight color options on offer the operations can be done via voice commands. Hello, MG. Yes. Change ambient light to green. Okay, light mode is green. Other than that, an interesting feature that actually we first saw on the MG Aster uh, was the digital Bluetooth key, which in essence means that with the MG iSmart app, you can basically allow a person to control and even drive the car without having the physical key present in the car itself. Now, to upgrade that feature for the Hector, what they have done is that they have made it a shareable option. Now, that digital Bluetooth key can be shared by the owner with up to two users. And again, that also offers various functionalities. For example, you can restrict the car's usage to being, you may allow them to start the car or you may allow to only unlock the car and use the features. So again, that function has several levels of operation. Now, another interesting feature that was already there in the outgoing Hector is the voice command for opening and closing the sunroof. But in the next gen Hector, what they have done is that given that function more operational ability and now you can basically control how much of the sunroof you wish to open or close by using the infotainment center. So again, that is a very premium, a very cool feature that allows better functioning of the sunroof and you can open it as much as you want or you can close it as much as you want. Apart from that, there are a few more interesting features in the iSmart Hub, for example, uh, the next gen Hector allows the user to share the location of the car if you're traveling in a convoy and basically you enter the details, you register the users who wish to know the location and with a simple passcode and a URL, they can simply know where the lead car is and they can follow the car's location. So it's an interesting feature, for, especially for road trips. Speaking of the iSmart Hub that has already been a part of the Hector's arsenal and it has been one of the biggest uh, appeals of this product and what MG has done is that uh, they've added better functionality features in it that have improved the ergonomics of the car. For example, the voice commands uh, that you give to the Hector, now you can do them in up to five regional languages such as Marathi, Tamil and so on and so forth. And of course, the Hector's claim to fame was its connected car features. And now that suite of connected car features has offerings of up to 75 plus features. So, I mean, uh, MG has pulled out all the stops, you know, to make the next gen Hector a truly premium offering and a really, really interesting uh, product in the segment. Now, in terms of safety, as I talk about the traffic jam assist, there's also another interesting feature addition that remains switched on by default and is the auto turn indicators in the next gen Hector. Now, with those, you do not really need the driver to, you know, use the indicator stock manually. Every time the car senses the steering is being turned, the respective side indicators will be switched on on their own. And that again is a very cool, a very intuitive feature addition in the next gen MG Hector. So in a very quick nutshell, I've just told you all the biggest changes that, you know, set the new gen MG Hector apart from the outgoing model. And of course, if it has a lot of new features, the next big thing that I'd like to talk about is the price of the car. By the time this video goes live, we were not sure if the car would be launched on the same day, the prices would be out on the same day. And 
whether just how much it will cost than the outgoing car so that is something that is yet to be determined and it will be interesting to see just how competitive pricing can the mg hector get in this new facelift avatar and of course the car will be on display at the 2023 auto expo but we're still not sure if the car will be launched at the auto expo so this was our walk around of the next gen mg hector if you feel we've missed out on any important differences that the car gets from the outgoing car do mention them in the comment section below until next time drive safe and ride safe this is me divyankush agarwal signing off